So you got a box lab Aquila, and you want to make that printer better. This is where you take your box lab plate, bring it to your sink, and you want hot water and soap it. Okay, back here at the printer, you use Windex with isopropyl mixed in. I make my own. Uh, both are said to be great for these. So we want to make sure that we get this extra clean. So I'm not putting this back on uh, the way that it comes factory. I don't know if you can see this, but the standard size is a little bit of grit. I've been printing on that. For circular objects, it is coming out great. For other things, it, I'm getting a lot of bed warping and, and non-sticking. So I've read in forms that a lot of people print on the grass, or the glass side, excuse me, and that that is uh, much better. Okay, we're mounting the bed. You will want to invest in extra clips. I see a lot of people just use the regular office hook clips. Um, I bought these instead. Uh, they're a little smaller, makes it easier. If you can see the bed clips, I should have recorded putting them on, but it was hard to even see with me in the way. Anyways, I added six bed clips, so they're on every corner of that now, in the middles. It, I've noticed that that bed, um, or maybe not the, the glass bed itself, maybe it is the heating tray underneath it, either from adjustments or whatever, can end up with a very microscopic uh, separation between the two. So you can actually, if you take a flashlight and sign, shine behind, you can sometimes see light shining through. I wanted to cure all of that and have a flat surface. Another tip that I have read about, never tried, glue stick. Yes, you heard me right. People are claiming they take glue stick, rub it on the uh, glass bed, and then your print will ad have a better adhesion. I actually don't have experience in that, and I don't plan to put glue on my bed, but I'm including this because I've read that it works. And then another one on that same uh, line of thinking is a, a spray hairspray. Okay, back to the plate being the standard way. Uh, this is definitely sticking better in my basement. Double check level again, and then we're going to begin a print. Like I said, I'm in the basement. It's, uh, it's only about 60 degrees down here versus a uh, regular 70, 72 uh, heat controlled environment. So it is a little harder to maintain ha heat, excuse me, and uh, it's a lot easier to get um, what would you call it, warping, or where the where the print is actually peeling up because it's cooling too rapidly or cooling in a different area rather than evenly as though it should. So yeah, that's what the plastic surround here is for. I have my printers totally shrouded. But it is printing very good again. I have the bed on the standard box lab side. Not on the mirrored glass side. That was uh, not beneficial in my situation. Maybe if you were in a warmer area it might work, but yeah, I'm seeing good bed adhesion. I have to set the bed temp at 80 or 85 Celsius to to hold bed adhesion, and I had to stick with the box lab side up. And uh, about 215 at 210, 215 C at the nozzle temp. Um, I have to turn the fan down at least for the first layer or two. And so I have the speed slow down to about 75% right now, and I start on about 60, increasing with 5% per increase. I, I printed each of them on a raft, you know, so you, you just add raft, yes, in the printing procedure when you're 
slicing it through uh, Voxel Labs software. All right, well, we're going to show you how to update the firmware. That is actually a little bit difficult, and there's a, a step that is kind of not highlighted really well by the other videos that I've noticed. As soon as you understand bed leveling and you know exactly how to print the, the proper temperatures and, and speed, you'll probably have to adjust it and toy around with it. You can make some really good quality prints with this.